Is there something wrong with my glove? Hey, my bad, my bad. Guys, my bad. Stereotypes of each position. Starting it off, we have pitchers, who are usually goofy and unathletic, but are born with a very strong arm. Next, we have the catcher, who's usually the toughest kid on the team. The problem is, he's also the fattest. Your second baseman's either very good or very bad, but no in between. Either way, I can promise you he doesn't have a strong arm. The center fielder is crazy fast. The only problem is that he's not quite coordinated enough to be a shortstop. Now, there's a lot of different options for a third baseman but usually he is a little overweight and has an absolute cannon for an arm. The shortstop couldn't hit water if he fell out of a boat, but that's okay because all he cares about is making great plays. What first base lacks in athleticism, he makes up for in height. He can easily reach the top shelf in a grocery store and has a great stretch. Let me tell you, your right fielder is not out there to play defense. He just wants to get back in the dugout so he can go hit some bombs. And he better because he's not very fast. Which takes us to the left field, who's not out there to play offense or defense. He's out there because his dad's the coach. Last up, we have the DH. Who's the fan favorite? Every single time this guy goes up to the plate, he's swinging for the fences. Yeah, coach said I gotta get my, uh, my protein intake up, so. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I was like, I don't know. I don't know what flavor I want yet. Till I get my money right Ooh. I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven When I woke I spent that on a necklace Ooh. I'm on fire I'm on fire I'm on fire Fire it all Um, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Three minutes. Oh. What are those? What are what? You got bouncy balls in your bag. No, I don't. That's bubble gum. That's what I store it for later. That's a cork stick. You cheating bastard. Well, don't look at me. My coach gave me the bag. What? I didn't give him shit. I got that bag from Dick Sporting Goods. You're gone. You're gone too. Yeah, that bubble gum excuse is almost pretty good. Yeah, we almost had him. Strike one, a blazer. Tied for the fastest pitch this year. That ball pouring in on the kneecap. All right, guys, we're going to go over the signs. Super simple this year, so shouldn't have no problem remembering them. Hat, hit and run. Belt, swipe the belt, bunt. Now, if I go like this... That's the still. Now if I go like this, take sign, do not swing. Now if you see me over there with my arms crossed like this, just do whatever. Just go up there and do whatever. Whatever you feel like doing, okay? Oh, and one more thing, there's no indicator. Everything's straight up. All right, let's break it down. Yeah, you, you ain't got the answer, Sway. Kanye. I've been doing this more than you. You know what? I will go ahead and say Sway had the answer. Ball four. Take your base. Hey, son. 
That's a quality AB. We love four pitch walks. Coach, I'm swag. What do you expect? Hey, maybe if you stop chirping the birds in the stands, then you'd get more at bats. Hey, Blue, let me get time. Done. Thank you. Hey, Coach, you got my on base swag? Of course I do. I got your on base shoes and your running sleeve. We're up 11 0, and Chodester Magoo over there came over and cried to me. So we're shutting the run game down. I don't need you stealing. Coach, first at bat all year. You know I got to look good on the bases. Thank you. It's a little tight. Perfect. Here you go, coach. You just make me so much faster on the bases. There's no need to wear my cleats when I'm on base. All right, I think I'm. Oh, almost forgot. My sliding mitt. Come on, PJ. Come on. What are you doing? Kid's got the crab mitt on and everything. Oh, pass ball. What? Howie, put on the helmet. You're going in for him. Me, coach? I'm just here for sunscreen. I don't play baseball. Catcher's POV of Trevor Bauer pitching. He's got a mouse in his trousers! He's got a mouse in his trousers! You're a fool! You old Rumpelstiltskin! You no good knuckle dragon bum! This is what I think of you, bitch! You a heap of garbage! Hey, Blue, he just called me a ninny! You gonna let him speak to me like that? Hey, kid, settle down at the plate! You got your head all gunked up! Hey, Blue, you call that a strike? You better call your doc and have him check your peepers! Strike three! Go back to the farm team! You're no good at baseball! You're bad! Guys, we're gonna talk hit and approach, okay? Because too many guys last game were looking at strike three. Yeah, Gagliano. You looked at a pitch right here with 0 and 2 for strike three, and then you look when the umpire rings you up, you're looking at me like this. What happened? What happened was, okay, you're getting too selective with two strikes. I got news for you guys. I used to be an umpire, okay? And this is what they tell us in the school. This pitch right here, one baseball length here, and one baseball length here, that's a strike. We got to call that, okay? That's what they tell us in the school. And with two strikes, we go one and a half baseballs out. That means that pitch right there is going to get called a strike three with a good umpire, okay? So going forward with our bats, we got to keep that. And listen, I'm not saying we can't strike out, okay? Because they're going to happen. Everybody strikes out. Even Albert Pujols and Mike Trout, all those guys strike out. But look at what they do on the pitches that, they, that are two strikes. They're not taking this because they know, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to run a drill, okay? And everybody that K's up looking, you're going to run a lap. And then early on this season. Hits this ball in the air to left center field. It is gone again. Mookie Betts, what a monster. Wow. 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 You know what, guys? Coach is right. If we want to win... It's on us! You're such a bitch <laughs> <laughs> I always thought he was going to get into the power washers business, but he loved baseball. He loved it. And, you know, me and Vincent, we always had something, you know, when he was playing in front of these scouts, when he would get nervous or, you know, no matter what kind of game he was having, he'd always look up into the stands and he'd do this. That was our thing, you know. I remember our first opening day. <laughs> you know, I thought the day that he got drafted was one of the best days of my life. But then they called his name on that loudspeaker. Now batting, the second baseman, making his major league debut, Vinny B, the second baseman. Chills up and down my spine. And uh, first pitch, boom. Swing and a drive! I was so excited, I'm screaming, I'm yelling. Welcome to the show, Vinny B. What did he do around in third base? When he looked up into the stands, he gave me one of these. You know, I wish anybody, everybody, could do that. This video is sponsored by Major League Baseball.
Yeah, man, you know, just another night, just another day.